Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to USCFP's short video series on GRE course. These videos will help you prepare for the GRE exam, which is essential to graduate level admission in most universities in US and for the Fulbright scholarship program. This session will be of GRE quantitative section. This is video three of the series. In this, we will go through some examples of basic math concepts. So quotient and remainder. What is the quotient and the remainder if 19 is divided by 7? Pause this video and do it. So 19 divided by 7, so the quotient is 2 and the remainder is 5. Um, I hope all of you got it right. So 19 divided by 7. 7 twos are 14. And 5 is the remainder. So I hope all of you got it right. Now a similar question. What is the quotient of minus 73 divided by 10. So I want all of you to solve it. So this is a slightly difficult question. So I'm asking you to minus 73 divided by 10. So multiply it. You have to multiply 10 with the number so that the answer is just less than minus 73. So if we divide it by minus 8, the answer is minus 80 and the remainder is 7. So if we multiply this by 10 by uh, uh, minus 9, the answer would be minus 90. And if we multiply 10 by minus 7, the answer would be bigger than minus 73. So minus 80 is just the answer which is less than minus 73. So I expect the lesser students, few students would be able to get this thing right. So quotient and remainder is a very simple concept of basic math. However, familiarity with it is very, very important. So that is why practice is very important. You can see video one and video two regarding what, where are the places you can practice questions. Next question. When a positive integer n is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. When n is divided by 5, the remainder is 1. What is the least possible value of n? So if n is divided by 3, the remainder is 2. So n is divided by 3. So if n is, let's say, 3, so if 3 is divided by 3, the remainder would be 0. But we want a remainder which is 2. So the entries we have in table 3, 3 1s are 3, 3 2s are 6, 3 3s are 9. If instead of 3 6 9, we add 2 to every number, we would have a remainder 2. So the the value of n is, if we divide by 3, the value of n, we want to remain to 3, then this value needs to be 5, 8, 11, um, 3, 4 is our 12, add to 14. So now, when n is divided by 5, the remainder is 1. So 5, 1s are 5. So if we add 1 to it, we get 6. 5 2s are 10, we add 1 to it, 11, 5 3s are 15, we get, so what is the least value of n? The least value of n is 11, so 11 is the correct answer. So this again was a quotient remainder question, however it was even more difficult than the last question. What are the prime divisors of 144. 
So if we want to find the prime divisors of 144, we need to enlist all the prime numbers first. So what are the prime numbers? 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. So what are the prime divisors of 144? If you can write all the prime numbers, um, so um, 2 is a prime divisor. If we divide by 2, we get an answer. So 144 divided by 3, do we have an answer for it? So if we make all the factors of 144, 2, 72, 2, 36, 218, 3, uh, 2, 9, and then 3. So the prime divisors of 144 are 2 and 3. These are the only two divisors of prime number. So with this, we come to the end of basic math 1. I hope this session was useful. Please remember to check out other videos in this series. Thank you.